When you know what's right for you, you're on your way to being a well-being. Learn how with personalised advice from Blackmores. Welcome to this week's Injury Report brought to you by Blackmores. A 31-point loss to West Coast on Saturday was sadly marked by an injury to our key forward, Travis Cloak. Travis has had scans and they've revealed that he has a strain to the soleus. It's not terrible, but certainly bad enough to keep him out for this week. Uh, he would be short to medium term, hopefully short term. Uh, Jamie Elliott's back. Um, nothing's happened since. He's settled down. He's OK, but uh, because it's a stress reaction to the back, will be conservative, so he would certainly be uh, short term to medium term as well, sadly. Tyson Goldsack's knee is, uh, is pretty good. Um, he just needs to be able to get through training. As we said, the, uh, the nature of that uh, tendonitis or tendinopathy is that you try to get it back to square one, and we think we'll be able to do that so he can get some continuity of that, so we hope he'll be available for this week. In, in fact, we're pretty confident he will be. Uh, ben Reid, similarly with his calf, he's, uh, he's been very much up and down. Uh, we kept him out last week just out of conservatism. Uh, but he should be a certainty to play this week. Ben Sinclair similarly uh, had a little bit of uh, uh, a bit of a problem with the hamstring. We were a little concerned about it last week, so we kept him out of the VFL side. But uh, pretty sure that he will play this week. He just needs to train, and he should be fine. Uh, Corey Gold similar. Uh, we've got to make sure that he is right. But we'd be expecting to be able to play this week as well. He has that hip flexor issue. And Nathan Freeman's coming on quite well. Uh, won't be available for this week, so he could be short term, maybe medium term, but definitely not long. So uh, we can't wait for Freo to get back on the track. And Jackson Ramsey's had a terrible time uh, with that uh, shin. Uh, he's out of the boot, uh, so he'll now go through the process of getting back on his feet and getting him up running. But um, uh, it'll be a while before he plays. He'll be medium term, maybe even long term. Tim Broomhead with his shoulder uh, is uh, long term. Um, and we'll miss him as well, but uh, that'll, that's certainly long term. And Tony Armstrong with that ITB, that knee issue, uh, he should be able to train this week and should be available to play this week as well. Uh, Brendan Abbott's shoulder, uh, sadly he will have uh, reconstruction this week and will probably miss, uh, will definitely miss the rest of the year. But the work that he's shown us on the field throughout the season means we should be positive about what he can do for us next year. Uh, Brenton McCaffrey with his knees, similar story, he's coming on reasonably well, uh, still medium term, but he certainly will play at some point. There's a double header on Sunday, the VFL plays against Casey at Vic Park at midday, and the seniors against the Western Bulldogs at Etihad Stadium an hour later. Big challenge for the boys and we can't wait to get back on the winning list.